In an effort to better understand the sea, Roy Widrig is taking to the sky. This is a DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus built-in screen that makes it a lot easier to see on bright days like today. As a hazard specialist with the New York Sea Grant, Widrig has been busy the past few years helping those who suffered major flood damage along the Lake Ontario right and St. Lawrence River shoreline. And with this drone, he is able to calculate things many cannot. We can see everything happening from above, so we see a different dynamic on everything. We see how the waves crash into the shoreline, we see how they reflect off certain barriers on the shoreline. Uh, we can also see a lot of times where the sediment is coming off. These drones can see miles down the shoreline and 10 feet deep into the water. It allows Roy to get a good grasp on all the damage he has seen in recent years. Everything from tree loss, which allows for erosion, and how wave crashes undermine structures and rock walls, causing them to collapse. In some cases, we saw um, areas that were much deeper on the shoreline than they have been in the past, which means the waves don't break out as far in the lake. So they come in, they hit the shoreline, they erode straight down, further steepening it. It's all information and more that Roy is offering on a case-by-case -case basis to people who fill out a virtual visit request online on the Sea Grants website. He will look at the information provided and offer help virtually or even come out in person. And yes, even with a drastic change in levels this year, it's still very much in demand. Never want to get too close to the waterfowl. Erosion really doesn't stop at a lot of times. So even though the lake levels are a little bit lower now than they have been in recent years, uh, if we get one good storm, we could see quite a bit of, of erosion, especially since a lot of those shorelines that have been built up with uh, softer sediments, they haven't been revegetated, so they're not really as strong as they used to be. And when he does come out in person, Roy says he'll have the drone in hand to not only offer help in managing the current damage, but what else could happen in the future. Brian Dwyer, Spectrum News.